Well, the ICON-6 has been previously published for its primary endpoint of progression-free survival. It was a three-arm trial in women with platinum-sensitive recurrent ovarian cancer in which one group got chemotherapy plus sidirinib followed by maintenance sidirinib and one group got chemotherapy plus sidirinib followed by placebo and one group got just placebo both with chemotherapy and in maintenance. And this presentation was updated for the overall survival analysis of the study, uh, which showed in their primary analysis a trend towards improved survival, uh, but not statistically significant um, when they used a slightly different ways of looking at these curves, adjusting for the fact that, the, as we say, there was non-proportional hazards for survival. Uh, they did find a multi-month improvement in survival. But I think what Dr. Letterman said in the discussion session afterwards is that sidirinib is not going to be developed for this particular situation by the company. I think overall we've had lots and lots of anti-angiogenics studied as maintenance therapy after uh, chemotherapy and with chemotherapy I'll probably most of the work has been with bevacizumab, and we have seen in some studies a small overall survival benefit, and we've seen, not seen it in others. And I think this study is overall consistent with the rest of the literature. The main direction going forward for sidirinib is going to be in combinations with olaparib. And as Dr. Letterman mentioned also during the discussion, their follow-up trial, the ICON-9 trial, will be in the same setting of platinum uh, sensitive recurrent ovarian cancer and will randomize women to get either a lap rib alone, which is of course a PARP inhibitor uh, as maintenance, or a lap rib plus sidirinib. And uh, the G, uh, GOG NRG is studying uh, similar combinations in their GY004 and GY005 trials. Uh, sidirinib is not a non-toxic drug and upwards of a third of patients discontinued it in uh, the ICON-6 trial because of toxicities including hypertension, diarrhea, thyroid problems, etc.